back guys uh, today we are continuing uh, the book starting out with Java and the problem we have today is is called um, pennies for the day for a day pennies pennies for pay sorry pennies for pay and that, that's the that's the problem um, so the word problem says uh, write a program write a program that calculates how much a person would earn uh, over a period of time if his or her salary is one penny uh, one penny the first day two pennies the second day and continues to double each day the program should display a table showing the salary for each day and then uh, show um, show the uh, total pay at the end of the period um, the output should be displayed in a dollar uh, amount not the number of pennies uh, input validation do not accept a number less than one uh, for the number of days worked so our job is to calculate how much uh, a person earns if he uh, if his salary is one penny uh, first day then the second day doubles and it continues to double until until the, the days are over how many uh, uh, until how many days he worked is over so our first job is is to uh, create a create a decimal format instance just so that we have a way to uh, format our um, and the, the currency in a, in a more readable format and so the pattern would be uh, number sign comma and three number signs comma another uh, three uh, number signs then period or decimal point zero zero so after that uh, we create a scanner instance to take an input uh, from the keyboard uh, scanner system dot in then we ask the user enter a number of days worked uh, then we store uh, whatever the user enters in days um, now next int after that we have to uh, we have to validate uh, the number the program uh, the the question says input validation do not accept a number less than one so we would do that while days are less than or equal to days then we um, we want to uh, prompt the user again error enter enter the um, enter the number of days worked and then we have to store it in days after the user enters the correct uh, days uh, we have to create um, variables to store the current day, uh, the penny, and the total. So the current day would be the first day, then the double would be total, pennies would be zero initially, and then the penny is zero. Point zero 0.01 after we do that 
we want to uh, we want to calculate it i equal one i less than equal to days i is incremented by one each time after that we have to show the the first day's earnings but before that we have to format um, the the output we would do that in printf so we create we add percent dash 15 characters then s percent s and new line then we we add current day then penny after that after we after we display the first day we have to add, increment the total um, by the penny also we have to increment the current day by one also we have to uh, double the penny by uh, multiply by two after we finish the um, the loop where we add a new line a space then we print the total and um, we, we we will print it in a in a in a format where df format uh, total total pennies so let's uh, let's check it uh, what is the error error yeah see yeah see <laughs> there is another error okay now there's no more errors um, enter a number um, of days worked let's say we worked uh, seven days um, what is the way <laughs> It gives us error. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. I <laughs> I wrote days is less than or equal to days, but what I meant was um, zero. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it was I. I didn't. I. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention when I wrote the while loop. Now it. It should it should work now. Yeah, uh, seven days. Um, seven days. Uh, we worked seven days, and um, the first day we earned a penny. Second, uh, we earned uh, two pennies. Third, four pennies, and it continues until the seventh day, which we earned. 64 cents and the total amount is one dollar and 27 cents but how about if we if we worked for um 30 days um 30 days the total is 10 million seven hundred thirty seven thousand four hundred and eighteen and twenty three cents is it 18 or, or zero Things eighteen, but but it's not formatted the the later days, you know the the thirtieth and twenty nine. It's not it's not formatted correctly, so we have to we have to use the the formatter. We have to say df format penny. Now it would. Uh, now it should work. Um, it should work correctly. Yes. Now it's now it's working. Um, the thirteenth day we earn forty dollars and ninety six cents. Um, 
the tenth day we earn one thousand and three hundred and ten uh, ten uh, dollar and seventy two cents and we double each day after that we continue to double until the the last day which is the 30th which we earn the five million three hundred sixty eight thousand seven hundred and eighty nine and twelve cents and when we add all them together we earned ten million seven hundred and thirty seven thousand four hundred and eighteen and twenty three cents so that is um, that is it uh, for this program I um, I added uh, I added all the source code um, in the description. You can find it in my GitHub. And um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. And uh, I will see you next time. Uh, have a nice day.